Cameron tells Brown to name the day of the election. This is the ITV Morning News, also on the programme this morning. No more questions for the McCanns. Portuguese police say they won't re-interview Madeleine's parents. Reputation on the line. The Governor of the Bank of England to face MPs after the Northern Rock crisis. And Zimbabwe's collective punishment for daring to speak out against Robert Mugabe. The people left to go hungry with only filthy water to drink. Once again, the streets of West London were packed with protesters today, campaigning against the Israeli military action in Gaza. The Stop the War coalition organised the latest march, which began at Hyde Park and wound its way to the Israeli embassy in Kensington. But the protests are proving a frustrating experience for local shopkeepers, who claim their customers are avoiding the area to keep away from the campaigners. Phil Bales went to Kensington High Street to see what they had to say. Let's just bring you some breaking news reaching us from the Reuters news agency. We understand that a blast has destroyed a vehicle near the U.S. Embassy office in Basra. Uh, the only details we're getting so far are coming from witnesses at the scene that say two are dead. Let's get more now on that suicide bomb attack in the Israeli town of Bathsheba. It happened a few hours ago now at a bus station there. Sky's Emma Heard joins me. What does it say about the situation in the region, Emma? Because this is the first attack of its type uh, since the Israelis started moving settlers out of the Gaza area. Police and protesters clash as the world's power brokers gather in Germany. Leaders of eight of the world's wealthiest countries meet to talk tough on poverty, climate change and globalisation. But will political rows spoil the party? The aerial attack on Fallujah continued overnight, lighting up the sky as US Marines continued the hunt for extremists. The US and Iraqi forces are pushing even further into the centre of the city. The assault from the air preparing the way. Whether you're a lottery winner or just simply a dreamer like me, this has to be the ultimate boat at the show. It costs five million pounds. Come on, let's see what you get for your money. Neither of you's virgins to uh, Sky Poker, by any account. It's my third visit. Yeah. Uh, the first one was terrifying. What the second the one's like, well, I was just, the whole online game I'm used to, but the open is something different, especially with a bounty on the head. This is the difficult bit, all right? Well, now, I better watch them. Yeah, this is the difficult bit. What you need to do is then cut the sponge in half. Right, OK, <laughs> so this is the point where I have bought two flannels. Exactly. <laughs> We're into day two, which gets underway in about an hour's time. And what England have to achieve here is to hold on to a good start to their first innings. Uh, they've got some key batsmen still that they have to rely on uh, to get a good enough total to worry Australia. Well, have they done enough on day one? Joining me now is the former England captain, Mike Gatting. Mike, uh, would you say honours even at this stage? Greg Norman is one of the most iconic figures in golf, but the Australian is now perhaps better known for his business interests than his stroke play. A lot of people speculating that the Beckhams will still be jetting all over the world. They'll be making frequent trips back to England. Do you see that happening? Oh, no. No, I don't think so. You, you have to get a clause in your contract for that. John, I'm not sure if you're able to watch our pictures right now, but David Beckham's showing off some of his skills now in his number 23 shirt at the training ground you can hear the screaming crowd in the background uh, he is such a popular character and uh, he's a player as well that stayed remarkably fit throughout his career as well and that must really be a plus point the fans may have been arguing about the cost of drinks and the cost of pies in Wembley but they got their value for money as far as the amount of football they've seen 120 minutes of it and Chelsea left it to the dying moments before Didier Drogba has done what he did all season and got the winner for Chelsea when the games are crucial well as life at Royal Birkdale returns to normal life for Podrick Harrington just gets better and better back-to-back -back open wins and the chance of doing it all again at Turnbury next year Steve Gaysford, Satanta Sports News at Royal Birkdale.